Douglas Adams, one of my favorite authors, once said, I love deadlines. I love the whooshing noise they make as they fly by. I'm documenting the launch of my business on YouTube. Will it succeed? Let's find out. Actually, I unironically like deadlines. Nothing gets you focused and actually working like setting a date. But sometimes you miss them. Which is to say, yeah, I kind of missed a deadline. Now, it's not a real deadline. It's just sort of an arbitrary deadline I set for myself for that very reason. So I would have something to focus on and get work done. But I did miss it. Uh, what it was is I was trying to get my product released to my beta list by, well, I said mid-March. And that's come and gone. I was hoping by the end of March. It's probably not going to happen either. But, I mean, honestly, like nobody cares like there was no real deadline like the only reason there's a deadline because i put one on my head and now of course i'm telling you but things just took longer than they expected which of course you should expect my my rule about tasks is that they always take twice as long as you think they're going to take even after you've already accounted for the fact that they take twice as long as you think they're going to take so i mean right now i am in the task of building a bunch of models, and they're just taking longer because I want them to be good. Let me show you. So here's what I've been up to, uh, just adding some more models. The particular one that I spent a lot of time on, in the first one, because I knew it was going to be pretty hard, was this beer can model, uh, which, you know, it took a while, not so much to do the modeling, but to get this kind of cool, transparent, lit from the center material and to have it work in real time, like, you know, so it's just constantly updated. That took a while. And here's why. Here's the actual Blender file I used, and you can see it's a little complex. Here's the actual material, which is totally insane. I can't believe I did this, but it does. There's a lot going on from reflections to that center lighting, and, and that's kind of all baked in here. And just just took me a while to get it correct. So that took a while. Then I also had to do some stuff up here on the neck that, like, the distortion wasn't quite working right, so I had to fix that and just was playing with some more stuff. But but I got it, and I'm actually quite happy with the result. And there's some fun things you can do with this. Like, you can change, you can change the shape of the body and the neck separately. So you can go for a real tall boy there. And of course, I did some, I've since done some other models, obviously in different colors, did this wine bottle, which I just did a tutorial on, got that in red and, and clear, and then added just this cap today, which was, uh, this, this took a while. This is a very complicated model. So yeah, things are just, things are just taking a long time. But hopefully the next you will be a bit easier because I've kind of established things. And I did the hardest first intentionally. So Hopefully I can crank out a bunch more. My goal is to get to 20 good models before I launch to the beta group and then keep building more, especially as I get feedback and like what people want. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I don't, I do not want to dawdle. I mean, I do want to get this out there, you know, as soon as I reasonably can. So, so I guess I'll just have to set another deadline. And I guess a good closing quote would be also from Douglas Adams, who wrote fairly extensively in his book, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Don't panic.